Would you believe me if I told you that the moon is one of the most dangerous destinations in space? This much is certain. Something strange is happening on the moon, because so many probes have crashed on the moon since the beginning of lunar exploration that things can't be right. Nevertheless, NASA, the Indian Space Agency, Chinese scientists, and Russia are constantly sending new probes to the moon. NASA's plans are big. After 2024, humans are to land on the moon again for the first time in almost 45 years and examine the Earth's satellite in detail for the first time. But if we look at the record of the moon missions, we have to fear for the safety of the astronauts. It was only in the summer of 2023 that the Russian Luna 25 mission crashed into the moon and shattered. Many experts agree that space travel is currently far too behind and unsafe to send humans to the moon. Some of you will probably argue that NASA sent almost a dozen astronauts to the moon in the 1960s and 70s and brought them back safely, but experts agree that the space capsules were safer and more solidly constructed in those days than they are today. With the loss of the space shuttle fleet, NASA has already had to admit that it is no longer competitive from a technical and, above all, a cost-performance point of view. In short, good and safe space travel has become too expensive. Does this mean that all plans to colonize the moon are in jeopardy? If we look at the record of failures, that could be exactly the case. The great successes are deceptive. Successful projects such as the Apollo flights are cited as prime examples of lunar research. But hardly anyone knows that Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin almost lost their lives on their approach to the moon. If Aldrin had not been such an outstanding pilot, the Eagle Space Shuttle might have been lost. However, the billions of people watching on television only got to see the parts of the lunar premiere that were a success. Apollo 15 in 1971 was the first mission to carry a moon car the world was thrilled when it saw the astronauts tearing through the moon dust in the lunar vehicle. The fact that Apollo 13 almost killed all three astronauts was already forgotten. Other brilliant achievements of lunar research were the Russian probes Luna 16, Luna 20, and Luna 24, which brought soil samples from the moon to Earth for the first time in the early 1970s. The successes were celebrated, but what about all the Luna missions that failed miserably? The last moon missions went very well again. NASA scored from 2009 with the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, and even the Indian Space Agency had managed to put a probe into lunar orbit a year earlier with Chandrayaan-1. But these two exploration spacecraft stayed away from the moon, orbiting it at a safe distance. Despite all these successes, landing on the moon is still considered difficult and risky. The Indians also had to learn this when their follow-up mission failed. What caused these missions to fail? The Soviet Luna mission in 1959 was the very first attempt to send a probe to the moon. However, the mission failed due to communication problems and the probe never reached the moon. NASA's Ranger program sent a whole series of probes to the moon between 1961 and 65, the first six of which either crashed on the moon or failed to communicate. The Soviet Luna mission in 1969 failed due to technical problems and crashed on its way to the moon. We have already mentioned Apollo 13. The famous Houston We Have a Problem mission in 1970 put all three astronauts in mortal danger when an oxygen tank exploded. It was pure luck that the astronauts returned safely to Earth after an ordeal of six days trapped in the much too small landing module. The Indians were also hit hard because after the good luck with the Chandrayaan-1 orbiter, the follow-up mission Chandrayaan-2 was supposed to place a lander and a rover on the moon in 2019. However, the twin probe had difficulties landing on the moon and crashed. What's happening here? These accidents don't just happen. The moon is considered a dangerous destination for space travelers and should not be underestimated. First of all, the irregular gravity on the moon is a risk factor that is difficult to calculate. The moon does not have the same gravity as the Earth as its mass is unevenly distributed. As a result, gravity can vary at different locations on the moon. These irregularities require extreme precision and careful planning to ensure that space probes and landing modules touch down safely on the surface. The most popular example of a successful moon landing, despite the irregular gravity, is the Apollo 11 mission in 1969. But as mentioned earlier, astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin 
had major problems landing on the moon. The automatic control system failed, and Aldrin had to navigate to the moon manually. The landing in Mare Tranquilitas on the moon is still considered a masterpiece of space travel, but few people know how close this feat was. The Soviet Luna 1959 and 69 missions also had to deal with irregular gravity. Both probes crashed on landing. Irregular gravity will remain a source of danger for future moon missions that is difficult to assess. A second risk factor is the lack of an atmosphere on the moon. In contrast to our Earth, which has a dense atmosphere, the moon has no air friction that could slow down the probes during the landing approach. The probes and later spacecraft have to generate the necessary deceleration themselves in order to touch down gently on the lunar surface. The Eagle lander used a thruster in 1969 to reduce speed and perform a controlled landing. However, there were also failed landings due to the challenge of the lack of air resistance. The Soviet Luna 1959 landing module and the Indian Chandrayaan-2 mission in 2019 had difficulty landing due to a problem with the braking mechanism and communications. The third challenge that makes landing probes on the moon difficult is communication limitations. Communication with probes on the moon is difficult due to the long distance and limited line of sight to Earth. Again, the prime example of successfully overcoming this challenge is NASA's Apollo 11 mission in 1969. During the landing approach to the moon, the command module was in orbit around the moon out of the direct line of sight of the lander. This meant that the astronauts on the lunar module, Eagle, had to act autonomously in order to land safely due to the communication delay of around 1.3 seconds. The Soviet Luna 15 mission was less fortunate in 1969. For example, the probe was supposed to land on the moon, collect samples, and return to Earth. During the descent to the lunar surface, however, there were communication problems that led to the probe being lost. The Indians were also aware of these pitfalls. That's why they equipped the Chandrayaan-3 mission, launched in 2023 with a fully automatic landing navigation system. The whole nation was thrilled when the probe touched down successfully and softly on the moon at the end of August 2023. Unfortunately, the Indians were unlucky because after a few days of research work, the 14-day and freezing cold lunar night dawned. The two landing modules were put into a dormant state and could not be reactivated afterwards. It is very likely that both probes froze to death as the Indians had somehow forgotten to install a heater. With temperatures of minus 100 degrees during the lunar night, this would have been highly advisable. But this is by no means the end of the lunar mysteries. The nature of the lunar surface is another aspect that makes it difficult for probes to land. The surface of the moon is characterized by craters, rocks, and uneven terrain. Moon rocks are sometimes razor sharp or very sharp. The moon dust, meanwhile, looks puffy, light, and inviting, but there are dangers lurking here too. The dust is not only highly allergenic, but is also riddled with razor sharp small particles. The last point that makes the moon a real challenge is the extreme temperature fluctuations. Temperatures on the moon vary from around negative 173 degrees Celsius at night to around 127 degrees Celsius in the sun. As it is day for 14 days and night for 14 days everywhere on the moon, the sun burns incessantly from the sky regionally, and then it gets freezing cold for two weeks. These extreme temperature conditions pose a challenge for the probes. Highly sensitive measuring sensors and camera systems have to withstand a lot. What the Indians have now suffered was also bitterly felt by Russia. The Soviet Luna 22 mission landed successfully on the moon, but like Chandrayaan-3, did not survive the extreme cold conditions on the lunar night and failed after only a short time. There are now around a dozen broken lunar probes on the moon, which together are probably worth $1 billion. Will the moon belong to the Chinese in the future? The Chang'e missions are part of the Chinese Lunar Exploration Program carried out by the China National Space Administration, CNSA. And so far, they have all been successful without exception. Chang'e 1 was a lunar orbiter that mapped the lunar surface in 2009 and collected a wealth of scientific data. Chang'e 2 followed a year later and not only continued the mapping, but also visited the asteroid 4179 to Tatis. In December 2013, the first Chinese rover landed on the lunar surface as part of Chang'e 3. Chang'e 4 
followed in 2018 and was the first mission to land on the far side of the moon, followed by Chang'e 5 in 2020, which found enormous water reserves in the lunar dust as well as the rare isotope helium-3. This makes China the first nation to land probes on the moon without a single failure. This means that the Chinese clearly have the best track record of all lunar missions. What have we learned about the moon? Despite the failures and bitter setbacks, all the successful missions have taught us a lot about the moon. The Apollo missions were a milestone in space travel and the astronauts collected valuable samples of lunar rock. These samples enabled scientists to reconstruct the geological history of the moon. Astronauts on the Apollo missions placed seismometers on the surface of the moon that recorded moonquakes or moon shakers. These quakes helped scientists to understand the geophysical properties of the moon and provided insights into the structure of its interior. Chandrayaan-1 was the first to detect water ice on the lunar surface. This discovery could one day help to supply lunar settlements. The water can also be used to produce fuel and breathing air. The Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter created a detailed map of the moon for the first time and discovered that the moon has no global magnetic field, although there are local magnetic anomalies. Soon, all this collected data will form the basis for the colonization of the moon because NASA is sticking to its plans to send humans to the moon again despite the dangers. Subscribe now to never miss an incredible video.